to log on, everybody. Hey, uh, Lutoka here uh, again for 21. Uh, this uh, this is the second installment of the Something's in the Kitchen with Nigel episodes. A super comments from everybody. I, I I was running the risk of who knows what I was gonna if it was gonna be well received. You know, I didn't want to offend anybody. Whatever, why are you doing that accent? Why are you maintaining it? Well, again, I am a voice actor, this is what I do, and that's part of my process, is to immerse myself in a character and then walk about my every day and just do what I do. Like I said in the beginning, whether the camera's there or not, that's what I do for my every day. Just keep babbling to myself, so... Which is why my neighbors want to have me committed. Again, thanks for watching, and we'll see you at the end and on the other side of uh, Something's in the Kitchen with Nigel. All right, enjoy. Lee Toka, vlogging off for now, and all that. Let's see how many countries I can offend in one meal. Hey, all right, all right. Yeah, I like doing it. Oh, what? Yeah, it still smells all right. And just to be a traditionalist, a bit of pinch of the old. Right, okay. Nice old fashioned. That's just cocaine. That's really, I'm, I'm a traditionalist, you know, just straight up cocaine. Little dusting. Really, you know, really spices up the meal. Plus, it keeps the conversation around the table going, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, right, anyway, yeah, it's a bit salt. Uh, that's coming along. Let's take a look on the underside. Oh, look at that, see? Getting a nice sizzle on that. Yeah. Nothing? I think it's good. I don't know. If it's not, oh well. You see, I've left my I've left my fridge going to the sh haven't I? Yeah. I mean, I mean, I've been so busy entertaining all of you with these stupid vlogs. Sorry, I'm gonna have to bleep all this out because I've got children watching, don't I? Yes! You have to say adult content. Don't let baby ears near the TV or the computer box. It's called a computer box. How come I can't? Why are the lights blinking? This is not my favorite, is it? No. This is my favourite. I love this knife the best. It's really, it's got a nice round edge to it. It's, um, it's a bit more forgiving. Now you've got to watch your fingers. I don't know. I mean, it's not a real cooking show, is it? It's just people watching me. But what you want to do, all right, just because I'm just going to assume you don't effing know. There, is that better? I got my, I dropped my F bomb. I'm good now. So what you want to do, you hold it, you, you put it in like this. You put your fingers like that. And you just put the, the knife so it just hits the knuckles. And then you're not going to like chop your fingers off. You know. Now what you want to do, I like to keep my knife for about five minutes this side, just like this, like about four and a bit. When you're doing steaks, you know what you do, right? It's like if you leave your hand loose and you poke right here in the meat there, or you just leave your hand loose, that's rare. And then if you tighten it a little bit, that's medium. And if you make a fist right there, that's well done. And if your steak's no good, then uh, you use your fist and you beat up the cook, don't you? Sure, why not? Have your 15 minutes to find that way, won't you? Well, I'm good for about a minute and a half. So anyway, yeah, I didn't know a blind person could do that, did you, eh? I won a bet once, and mine was bigger. Anyway, kidding, ha <laughs> no, 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 anyway. Uh, my friend Kuse Mankuma and I were living together, that's Blue Mankuma's son, we, had, uh, we were living together, and I bet him, I think it was twenty dollars that I couldn't chop one little button mushroom one hundred times perfectly, and I won, didn't I? <laughs> Which I should have even been handling a knife because now that I recall, I was quite sozzled. Uh, I really hope that. Yeah, it's, it's all right. I don't know. I think it might be a big game. Oh, not good. No, I don't think it's gone off. I think it'll be good. All right. 
why I'm doing this accent right now. It just feels good. Like when I'm in the kitchen, that's what it feels right. It feels right that I'm doing that. So if there are people from the UK watching this and secretly hating me, so what? Click off. <laughs> What you could do if the steaks are a bit dry for the day, then lift it out a bit, take a little knob of butter, a lot, just a tiny bit, throw it in there as well. I love it, it makes it really juicy, nice, you know. So, yeah. Uh, like if you could, if you could somehow in your mind, uh, if you could be playing Flighty the Bumblebee, you know, but I'm not paying for that, so, you know, it's not royalty free, is it? But yeah, so when I'm doing my cooking bits, I think this is the character that I'm gonna kiss a feels right, doesn't it? Yeah, sure, why not? Alright, so there we are, almost done, almost done, and like this. I really get a good good freak on with this. Who said blind people can't use knives? <laughs> Don't be the same rumors, and that's all. Don't get danger, play around there, mate. They know. Oh, there we are. Anyway, okay, let's see what we got going on over here. I hope, I hope, I hope it's not gone off. If it's gone, if I don't show up for episode 21, it means something's gone terribly wrong. The meat's gone off, and uh, call some kind of authority. Break down my front door. You don't know where I live. It's somewhere in the bells of the Kitsilano region. Somewhere in the bells of the Kitsilano region. But I don't know where, whenever I start talking about where I am, I do a really shitty Aussie accent. It really makes all my Aussie friends mad. Because I'm Canadian and I'm not supposed to do that. And remember kids, if you're gonna do an accent, don't make fun, just have fun. I'm not kidding. Yeah, it feels all right, feels all right. Mmm, oh yeah, hello. <laughs> That's a bit of windy night, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, you like the hair? Yeah, just got out of the shower. Didn't feel like doing nothing for it. Hey, what you see is what you get today. Isn't it? Hey, this is done. This is all done and dusted. I'm going to flip it one more time just to get the juices from this side onto the other side. Right, let's do this. Now, that's looking pretty good. Now, I know it's not a barbecue, I know. Don't pour anything on there, because what you want is when you get this in there, that's what you want. So let's see, I'm going to do this for the first time, eh? Oh, look at that. Yeah, it's almost like it was meant for it, eh? You know, and pour this in there. Now you're going to deglaze the bottom of this really easy. Alright, one of these, I'm sure, is a bit gamey. I'm not sure, but I'm getting a bit of a waft of something pongy. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I just got something smelly stuck to the inside of my nose. You ever thought of that? When you smell something bad, maybe it's got a bit of crap stuck up your nose. And you're smelling that because all the air is flowing past the crap. Welcome to my kitchen. Are you hungry? Gonna replenish a bit of the oil in there, because why not? Throw two gloves in there. Make nice. Got you, got you load up on the spice again. I do like this and I do like this and of course I like this. Now what else do I like? I'll tell you, I'll tell you what I like. Thanks for asking, I'll tell you what I like. You know what I like? These are a few of my favourite things. Lemon juice, right? Why? Why Lee? Why do you like the lemon juice Lee? How could you do that? It's a perfectly good but Oh shut up, alright. One glove round, bit of lemon juice in there. Bit of Liam Perrins, a little bit of Worcestershire Shire. Okanagan, as you know, I was born and bred in Kelowna, BC. And this is an Okanagan original Little Creek, my very favorite uh, salad dressing. But why are you putting salad dressing? Why are you doing it? You're going to ruin it. Shut up. So just one bit of a glug, just one splash. If it's gonna come out, it's not even coming out. By the way, did you know, or you didn't know, you know when you're trying to do the ketchup and you're like trying to hit the back, you don't ever hit the back this way. You hit it up this way because it goes boof. It goes reverse. Well, it doesn't go actually boof. Like you don't hear boof. It'd be a bit creepy. If it's a, if you learn something at least kitchen, oh, does it so much. Okay, anyway, so here we go. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's... That is tasting delicious, isn't it? I like a bit of the citrus flavour in there. Steak resting should always leave steak to rest anyway. Something tells me that 
one of these steaks. It's like those uh, all flavoured jelly beans in uh, Harry Potter, isn't it? One of these might taste like ass. I'm not sure. <laughs> isn't it so exciting? There we go. So you know how to do this, right? It's flip and there we go. So see, I'm, oh, a lot of blind people can do it too. What? I didn't want to flip it like I usually flip it because sometimes it goes terribly awry. Let's have a bit of a taste. Oh. The mushrooms I'm using, by the way, are criminy. Oh, see, I just broke the atom. They're called criminy. Criminy? Criminy? You say tomato and I say tomato. <laughs> Okay, so anyway, shorty anyway. I use criminy mushrooms because they taste, you know what they taste? They taste a little bit like the actual taste of actual Campbell's mushroom soup, cream mushroom soup, the old standard, the comfort food. So I just heard someone singing that on a commercial stuck in my head, isn't it? You can really tell that the, um, the deglazing has worked here. I got all the seasonings from the meat, and plus the blood. Plus the blood is in the mushrooms as well. I will have my mushrooms extra bloody today, thank you. Do you think I could have a cooking show? Do you think? Would you watch? Hey, would you? It's like Jamie Oliver, but like, ridiculous. No, you can actually cook. I don't know how to make a couple of things. When I was a kid, I used to spend time in the kitchen and my grandma, my Baba Blanche, um, and she would teach my wish. Well, my mom was just learning how to cook, but all of the women used to sit in the kitchen and cook. And I would sit and watch them and learn the recipes. And well, I didn't know them then, but as I grew up, I asked my mom some of the recipes. Okay, this is the, uh, this is it, isn't it? It's happening. It's all happening right here, right now. I'm gonna take a bit of each and I'm gonna have to Decide which one goes to the dog next door. Bonzo, hey? Okay, a bit off the edge. Mmm, that's a cool one. It's a cool one. Let's go in the middle on this one because this is the one I'm not really sure about. Yeah, oh, they're all really good. I think I caught them just in the nick of time. Yeah, all right. So they're all really good. Log on everybody. Well, that was exciting, and uh, glad the steaks turned out well because I wouldn't be here. I'd be in the hospital with food poisoning. Yeah, uh, stay tuned for tomorrow. It's going to be the last in the uh, the Foodie Friday series, um, which would bring it up to like Sunday. Thank you guys for all of your support and your great comments, and for the people that have been following every day. I know it's hard to do to watch a daily vlog. Everybody's got their own lives, and there are so many much more interesting people than me uh, out there doing this. And, uh, we'll see where it goes. I want your feedback so I know what to do with this later. And I'm sure that um, I'll get many comments as to what to do with these involving inserting things someplace, I'm sure. Anyway, <laughs> so thank you very much for tuning in. We'll see you tomorrow. And in the meantime, this is Lee Tokar vlogging off for now. Welcome to my kitchen. Are you hungry?